Hello friends, today we will move forward towards another important part in DNA sequencing and this is referred as shotgun sequencing. In the previous videos, if you have visited our YouTube channel, we have seen about Sanger's Dioxy method of DNA sequencing, Maxwell Gilbert DNA sequencing, Illumina sequencing, semiconductor sequencing, pyro sequencing and so many other types of DNA sequencing. Even automated Sanger's Dioxy uh, DNA sequencing method. Now, all these are specific DNA sequencing methods. Okay, using various principles, we have sequenced the DNA. But every DNA sequencing method which we have seen has certain limitation. You cannot sequence the whole genome by any of these methods. And that is the major problem. That's why a new technique that is shotgun sequencing came into existence. Keep in mind, it's not a specific DNA sequencing like Sanger's radioxy or any other sequencing method. Okay, what is it then? In shotgun sequencing, because it is named from the shotgun, random firing pattern of shotgun. Okay, you know, from a shotgun, multiple pellets will come out at a time, and from that, actually. Okay, this sequencing was right. Why? Reason, suppose this is a DNA, a complete genomic DNA and we want to sequence. But it's in thousands of base pairs. It's not possible because none of the method can sequence more than 1000 base pair of DNA at a time in one attempt. This is the limitation of every DNA sequencing which we have seen okay even the automated or the next generation sequencing are also having certain limits so what we are going to do we are going to break the DNA okay randomly into numerous small segments and these small segments are called reads and each sequence is sequenced by Sanger or Illumina or Pyro sequencing or many other DNA sequencing method which we have seen okay after that each time as we have broken the DNA into various fragments randomly these overlapping regions okay are used to move forward in the complete sequencing method now you can see here Suppose this is the complete genome or the a big DNA which we want to sequence. What we will do, we will first break it into small pieces using okay, any of the method to break DNA like any endonuclease or any chemical which is used to break the DNA. Okay, And now we will sequence each of these fragments. Every fragment will be sequenced. Correct? Next time what we will do, we will break the same DNA okay, using a different technique or a different endonuclease or a different chemical. This time it might break it something like this. Okay, if this is so, definitely this region, okay, actually in the first attempt, only this part of the DNA is sequenced. But in the second attempt, this much part is sequenced and that's why we have this much DNA more okay in the second attempt what we will do we will match this sequence with this and now we will move forward now this part is matched with this okay and in this way we will keep on matching the overlaps and using these overlaps okay we can sequence the whole genome using computer programming okay now here i have taken an example there is a dna sequence here okay suppose this is the original sequence which we want to sequence in the first attempt of dna sequencing we will break it using certain chemical or endonuclease enzyme and here this is the fragment which is generated this is the second fragment generated and this is the third fragment and we will sequence all these three fragments correct we will get the 
sequence of three fragments. Now, in the second sequencing attempt, what we will do, we will break the same fragment of DNA using another chemical or another method, random again and that's why it will break somewhere here suppose then uh, somewhere here correct and result of this is again we will get three fragments this ATG then this rest of the fragment and this rest of the fragment and now we will again sequence these three fragments what is the aim in the first sequencing method this is the first fragment and you can see this CG ATG, ATG is matching, correct, in the first and second attempt. But in the first fragment, we have CGCT and this CGCT is here, correct. And now, this CGCT will continue as AATTG and AATTG will continue as CCGT and the CCGT will continue as AGCCHE. In this way, these overlap regions are used to continue. In this way, the whole original sequence or the complete sequence can be assembled. So what is shotgun sequencing? Shotgun sequencing is a method to assemble okay, the sequence of various DNA fragments during, using the overlap region. Okay, and in this way, the complete sequence can be performed. Okay, now computer programs use the overlapping ends of different reads to assemble them into a continuous sequence. Correct. Now, none of the reads cover full length. Just now we have seen none of the reads can cover full length because every method of DNA sequencing has its limitation as far as fragments of DNA are concerned, and that's why it cannot cover the full original sequence. Many overlapping reads of each segment of original DNA are necessary. So what do you need is many overlapping reads. Okay, example, in human genome project, it was 12x or more. Means, the complete human DNA is broken 12 times using 12 different methods. And each time each fragment is sequenced, means each base pair in the human genome was sequenced 12 times at least. And these overlaps are later on clear, used to find the complete genomic sequence. Okay, and this is what is shotgun is. Okay, the name suggests that you sequence the DNA by any method, but later on using computer program or algorithm, we are going to sequence the complete genome, correct, using various small fragments. That's why the name is shotgun, which we have discussed, okay? And this is what is shotgun sequencing is. Thank you.